In this example, we're going to use vector masking to create a logo effect where we get two letters intertwined with each other. And we also performed this same example in the bitmap selection section, but we used bitmap images and we used layer selecting to punch out parts of each letter. Well, it's far easier, far faster, and far preferred to use the vector mask method. A couple of ways we can do it. First way we do still need, just like in the first example, we do need to duplicate one of the letters. So in this case, since the C is on the bottom, we'll duplicate it so that the C duplicate our sandwich is the B. So control C to copy it. Control V. Actually, I just copied the B by mistake. Well, we could use the B, it's fine. So we have a B on top and a B on the bottom. And since we duplicated the B, that's going to be the letter that we're going to uh, work with with masking. Well, very simple, very quick. Let's just say that we wanted to hide parts or reveal parts of this C that's coming up here. Select any of your vector tools, circle, round, lips. Could even use the pen. We don't need to create a precise shape right here. And that's because we're only going to mask out a certain area of this B that's over the C. So we can just draw real free form selection. A couple ways we can do it. We can do the paste as mask. We'll do that first. Don't worry about the color of the vector object because we're going to use that as a masking shape. The color of it won't be important. Control X, select the top B, edit, paste as mask. There's our effect. We're masking out the top, hiding everything else. So basically, if I turn off the bottom B, that's the shape we just pasted right there. If we wanted to edit it, let me select my subselection tool. If we wanted to edit this, bring it in. Doesn't really matter, just so long as part of that shape is coming over the C. And this is why I wouldn't want to use the pen tool, because it might take an extra couple seconds to create a really precise selection around that part of the C when any type of shape will work in this example, because this is the only part of the, the letter B that's showing. If we had a more complex image that was coming around here, we might need to do that. But in this case, just draw a general shape over that top area, and there is your effect. We delete this layer. If you're doing the same thing with the C, let's go ahead and just copy the C. Control C, Control V, drag one to the bottom, select the top C. This time we'll use the group as mask, and this time the color of the vector shape is important. Let's go ahead and use a ellipse this time. Draw a circle around the top. Pointer tool, change this to white select the top, select the C, so we have both the path and the uh, text selected, modify mask, group as mask, there's our same effect. We basically revealed that top part of the C while hiding the bottom part. You can see right there that that's what we revealed, and the rest of it's hidden. We use the bottom C to make up for the difference. Pretty cool effect. Kind of prefer it working in vector mode. It's just a couple steps faster, but Another way to look at creating the same effect using different techniques and fireworks.